Okay, the next two finger gesture we're gonna take a look at is the two finger rotor command. It's either a clockwise or a counterclockwise movement with two fingers. This selects the next or the previous rotor setting. Now, students do not have to know about the rotor at this point to learn how to use the rotor. So I teach the gesture first, and then I go back and, and teach what it is that the rotor does. So that just for your knowledge, the rotor is what you use if you wanna speed up the voiceover speech rate. You can use the rotor and turn until you get to, it's like a menu, it's a virtual menu. You'll turn until you get to speech rate, and then you flick up or you flick down to make your speech rate faster as a flick up or down for slower. Let's take a look at the rotor and how you do it. So first of all, it's a two finger. I usually use my thumb and my index finger and it's either a clockwise movement and I'm doing a half twist around the circle or it's a counterclockwise movement, again, like a half twist. So let's take a quick look at that in voiceover practice screen. Rotate clockwise. Select next rotor setting. Rotate clockwise. Select next rotor setting. Okay, and if I'm gonna do a counterclockwise, it's rotate counterclockwise. Select previous rotor setting. So I can go rotate backwards. Select previous rotor setting. I can go backwards through my rotor or forwards through my rotor. Now a lot of kids and adults have trouble with this. So there's a lot of different ways you can do the rotor. Some people prefer to put their thumb down and then just move their index finger while keeping their thumb straight. Let's take a look at that one. Touch, select item under your finger, touch. Select item under your finger. Okay, so it was saying touch because I put my thumb down before I started with my finger. Touch, select item under your, rotate clockwise. Select next rotor setting. Okay, so another way to do it is to take your left index finger and your right index finger. So with me right now, my left index finger is at the bottom of the screen is gonna move up. At the same time, my right index finger is at the top of the screen and gonna move down. Pinch up, pinch close. Extend text, rotate clockwise. Select next rotor setting. Rotate clockwise. Select next rotor setting. Okay, if I want to go the other direction. Rotate counterclockwise. Select previous rotor setting. To go backwards, I was doing my left finger, index finger at the top of the page moving down, and my right index finger moving up. Rotate counterclockwise. Select previous rotor setting. Now, if you notice, if it's saying pinch, that's because I am bringing my fingers slightly closer together as I'm doing that. So let's take a look at that one again. Pinch close. Extend text selection one character to the left. Now, I exaggerated that and showed how I pinched closed. You want to make sure that you're doing straight Rotate lines. Rotate. Select next rotor setting. In order for that to work. Now, with some of my students, they really, really struggle with this one. So I try a variety of different things. One thing that I do is I take a water bottle with a cap on it. Let's practice twisting that bottle on or off using my thumb and my index finger. It's the same motion. Twist on, twist off. Twist on, twist off. Another thing that I've done, some of the students that have the trouble with the pinching, even if they're doing two fingers on the same hand as they rotate around, they bring it in and you get the pinch gesture instead. I take that water bottle cap and I put it between my extended thumb and my extended finger. And I'm using it between the joint on my thumb and the joint on my finger. So halfway um, up my index finger and halfway up my thumb. Now this keeps me from being able to pinch my fingers together. So it keeps my fingers the same distance apart. So I'm gonna to try to show that's where Rotate you can clockwise. see it. Yeah. Select next rotor setting. Rotate clockwise. Select next rotor setting. So that's a nice way to, to teach the students that are having trouble with pinching or, or pinching in or pinching out because their fingers are moving is to put that round circle of that bottle cap in the middle between their fingers. Now for concept development, there are some really great posts about how you can make your own tactile rotor to teach this concept. Um, there's a 3D printed rotor that you can, if you have access to a 3D printer, um, you can get the free file on Thingsiverse and download it and print that off. Um, I will link to that post as well.